With that exclusive prime ministerial interview coming up later. And our very own Patrick Bannon coming to you live from the first annual sports board final. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's National, National Nightly, Nightly News. News. Where's my makeup? Second, girl? Everybody. Makeup! Is it raining outside? I'm sure I fell a drip. Just a bit. I saw a man float by on a massive boat. Makeup! <laughs> Where is that useless fucking idiot? I don't know if she had any pets. Yeah, two of each. Makeup! Seriously, I feel the drip. Ten seconds, everybody! Look, I'll have someone look into it. For now, try not to drown. Going in five, four, Two bloody three. Mates. First tonight, after the Christmas horror caused by Mr Snugglehugs, we have an exclusive interview with one of the victims. Poor seven-year-old Timmy Tadlock, like so many of those affected by the Christmas bloodbath, has spent the last three months undergoing a series of reconstructive facial surgeries. Last week, joyfully, he spoke for the first time since the tragedy. Tonight, he talks to us. Before we go to the interview, however, this station would like to issue a full and frank apology for any part we may have played in the tragedy. We should never have advertised Mr. Snugglehugs. Without our publicity, the sheer scale of this tragedy, with now upwards of 8,000 casualties, might have been averted. On behalf of the Nightly News team, we're sorry. In future, we will do better. Now it's over to Robin Short at the Tadlock family home. Robin? Thank you, Megan. I'm here with Mr and Mrs Tadlock and their seven-year-old son, Timothy. Thanks for spending time with us today. That's why everybody loves to meet some of you at school. That's what you love to be responsible. Whose idea was this anyway? It's all right. It wasn't your fault. As you can see, Megan, there's still a few things here. I'll check you I'm going to speak to Timmy. Hello, Timmy. Can you see me? Mummy, are you that lady? She's going to be in television today. She's going to ask you a few questions. Oh, I'm going to have to call it. 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 I must have seen that. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, it is sad. And what did Mr. Snuggle Hug say to you? Our nation. Thank you, Robin. Harrowing stuff. And many questions to be answered by Sophia Remington in the coming days and months, I'd wager. How will she turn this crisis around? So, Jeremy, what are the warning signs a consumer should look out for when they're spotting a dangerous toy? Well, Megan, experts advise to always check for the new advance mark 
which guarantee a level of safety and quality. Yeah, can we just get a close up on, on camera three here? So if we take a look at this National Nightly News mug, you should see the mark just on the base of it there. In the wake of the scandal, the government were praised for their swift response in bringing in this set of stringent checks and new products. It certainly is good to know that someone's watching out for our families. When we come back, our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the Sports Board Finals. Stick around, you won't want to miss it. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back. Oh, sorry, I'm bursting. Oh! She's very good. Who? Megan. Yes, she is. Watch your back, Jeremy. Women are coming. I'm more worried about this water dripping onto my head. <laughs> 